Shalom, call hello, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakaha, Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. The 144,000 and the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth among the heathen nations that look like those heathen nations. And to the few Akwaf that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago, coming at you with another lesson in truth. And uh, I'd like to, uh, uh, usually when I do videos like this, um, I usually like to use like some nature, some rivers running, waterfalls in the background, sounds of nature, some, some nice uh, subtle symphony music or something to that effect. But that's not the time that we're in. We're in a time of war. We're in a time of, of, of hate. You know, there's a, there's, a, there's a matter of fact, let's go to Ecclesiastes real quick. All right, and then I'm going to get on with the reading of 1 Peter and to prove to you that the, the disciples, the apostles, were all about their people. The Bible is a book. It's a very racist book because it's the only people that are, that are getting uh, salvation in the Bible are the Israelites. And even more so of the Israelites, the elect, not even all of Israel, but only the elect of Israel. And we're going to prove that beyond a shadow of a doubt through scripture. But this is Ecclesiastes 3. And, um, and one, and it reads, to everything there is a, there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, and a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. All right, so you know it's a it's a it's a it, now it's a time of death and a time of plucking up. All right, it's a time for war. All right, so without any further ado, let's go to the scriptures because you know the Bible is a very racist book. It's only about the Israelites, okay, and the people claiming to be you know the mainstream people that are claiming to be the people of the Lord. They're not it. All right. It's prophesied in the Bible that Edom in the last days would get a hold of the Holy Land of the high places and that Edom would claim to be the people of the Lord. Remember uh, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ. All right. Jesus means earth pig. Do some research. All right? You should be ashamed of yourself for even saying that. All you dumbass Christians. As Paul said, though I be rude in speech, not in knowledge. But I don't care if I heard a Christian's feelings. Sometimes, it's, you know, you need to do that for the people to make them wake up. All right. And um, but, yeah, do some research. Jesus literally means earth pig. So you're going to call the, you know, the, 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 the most righteous, holy savior. You're going to call him, you know, by such a name. All right. You, should, you know, like I, like I said, you, 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 you Christians should be ashamed of yourself. All right. You it's been proven over and over to you that the letter J didn't even exist until the 1500s. I think it was 1534, if I'm not mistaken. Didn't start getting printed, printed uh, mass, in mass until the 1600s. All right? Because in the, in the King James 1611, there's no J's. All right? Yeah, I think it was 1634 they actually started printing the, uh, you know, the, the, the letter J into publications. But without any further ado, let's get to the book of Peter, because that's what this is all about. First uh, Peter, the first chapter, starting with verse 1. All right, and, and you know what? Before I read it, let me go to uh, Psalms. All right. And talk about the, uh, I think it's Psalms 104. No, 119 and 104, I think. It says, through thy precepts we get understanding. Yeah, 119 and 104. Through thy precepts. All right, went right to it. I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Teaching that for God so loved the world and that God loves everybody and not explaining that there, there were 18 nations created in the beginning and each one of those nations is considered a world and that the world that the Lord God so that God so loved was was the world of Israel to teach to not teach that is it's hateful. It's an outright hate. And then it's a lie. All right. Well, let's go to Peter. This is First Peter's one, and um, I got a lot of precepts. I, I may not even make it all the way, 
through the whole book. So this might end up being a, a two-part series. So there's uh, 25 scriptures. So we'll go about to the halfway mark and then finish up. So we'll go to, to like uh, 1 Peter 1 and 13. And we'll, we'll precept our way along the way. But this is 1 Peter 1 and 1. And it reads, Peter... And if, and if you're in the spirit, if the Lord is dealing with you, you'd understand that P Peter is, is King David, all right? You'd understand that Moses was also King David, okay? Um, you would understand that, you know, that we come back to the, you know, every to, uh, all the way up to the third and fourth generation. And, and that's milk to the learned, but that's heavy meat that a lot of people can't, you know, digest because David was, 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 promised kingship over Israel forever. And then all of a sudden it says in the New Testament, in Revelation, that, it, you know, it was, it says in the New Testament, Peter was given the keys and that, and then there would be a gate, you know, with all the, with all the names of the 12 dis disciples. Well, wait a minute. You just said that, you know, that, are you making God a liar? That he, he's, he, he, uh, schizophrenic or bipolar that he first said David and now it's Peter. So that's something to think about. All right. But that's another lesson. All right. But it says first Peter one and one, Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Hamashiach, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. So let's look who those strangers are. I tell you the very next, very first word of the next scripture. Elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto the obedience and the sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Hamashiach. Grace be unto you. So let's read some precepts that go with that. Because it told you the elect. So the elect is of Israel. So just like it says in James 1 and 1, which they may be one of my precepts. Let's go to it. Well, not yet, but this is Ephesians uh, 1, 4, 9. All right. So let's go to Ephesians. Uh -huh. 1 and verse 4. And it reads. According as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption according to the adoption by the children, uh, Salakia, predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai Machiach to herself according to his good pleasure and will. All right. Jumping up to verse nine, having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to the good pleasure, which he hath purpose in himself. This is all to the elect. All right. Verse 11, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance predestinated according to the purpose of him who work of all things, according to his counsel and his own will. All right. So to the counsel and the will of the Lord. The promises were promised to only the Israelites, the, to them only, and not anyone else. Okay? Let's go back to Peter. And what was my other precept? Uh, we were in uh, 1 Peter 1 and 2. The next precept is um, 1 Corinthians eleven twenty five. 25. All right? Because it says the sprinkling of the blood, grace unto him, peace be multiplied. That's what we read. So let's go to 1 Corinthians 11 and 25. Okay, so. Salakia. Here we go. First Corinthians eleven twenty five, and it reads: After the same manner, he also took the cup, which he had supped, saying, "This cup is the new testament in my blood. This ye do oft as ye drink of it in remembrance of me." The only people that were there were Israelites, so the, the so that the sprinkling of his blood. This was the sim symbology, all right. When you drank the wine, it was it was it was it was a uh, it was it was it was symbol it was symbolism to him spilling his blood 
for his elect, for the very people that we're reading about. All right. Now, indeed, he did. He did die for for Israel, because all Israel, all he died for the elect. Let me correct myself. But all Israel will be saved. All right, be, and be simply because Yahweh made a promise to Abraham. But the two thirds that are going to be cut off and die on this side that the Lord did not die for. All right. They're going to get their blessing and be born into the covenant after they get death by pain. That's scriptural. So let's go on. Let's go back to uh, Peter. I'm putting all these dumb commercials on. I'm trying to have the war and destruction. I'm going to have to watch this video. You can see the title at the bottom of the screen. Uh, because uh, this man has been seriously chronicling, you know, these latest events. And uh, and how the, the least of the flock is going to draw, you know, the whole world into a uh, conflict into the third wall. All right. And, uh, so first Peter's one and three. Blessed be the God and father of our personal pronoun, Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, according to his abundant mercy, have he begotten us unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach from the dead. All right. So that was a personal pronoun. So, we, and so let's go to Amos. It said, our father, our Lord. Okay. So whose Lord is, 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 is the, is the God of the Bible? He's the God of the Israelites. All right. So Joel 2, 27, 28, no, 27. And it reads, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am Yahweh, your power and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Didn't include the other nations, didn't include any of the heathen, especially you Edomites. Amos 3, 1 and 2. All right. And it reads, hear the word that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family, two thirds included, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. The Lord is not known. The other nation, when the law, statutes, and commandments, and the government, and the covenant was given, and the promises, as we, as we, and I'm pretty sure I got some precepts in Romans the ninth chapter. When no, when the, when the, when the law, statutes, and commandments, and the covenant was given, it was given unto the Israelites. No other people were there. They've never known them. They, he wasn't dealing with any other nation. No one else was there, so they cannot make a claim. You know. You like to use the example of a father that dies, a mother that dies, a grandfather, a grandmother that dies and leaves a will to his blood family members. All right. You know, the, the friends of grandma, the friends, friends of grandpa, the friends of dad can't come in and say, well, we love them, too. He was my best friend. You know, I, I should get, you know, some of that, too. No, if he didn't write it in the will that you can get anything, you're not going to get it. OK. So first Peter's, uh, I think we're in four now, four first, and it reads to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fate of not away reserveth reserved in heaven for you. All right. So let's see what, what, so, uh, yeah, we got Isaiah 48 and 11 and Isaiah 42 and eight. So let's shoot over to Isaiah. I think it was 42. 42 and 8 was 1 and 48 and 11, right? So 42 and 8. And it reads, hold on. So lock you. And it reads, I am Yahweh, that is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven Im images. So the glory of the Lord is not given to, to any other people. It's only given, it was only given to, to Abraham and to his son Isaac. 
passed to his son Jacob, and then to and then to Jacob's twelve sons, who were the patriarchs. Who uh, Jacob's name was trained changed to Yasharala in English. That you know that comes out Israel, but it's Yasharala. Okay, he prints power. Right, Yahweh Shai, he is the savior. He savior, he saves, and Yahweh he is. All right, so Israel, you know, name Yahweh, you know, is in the Lord. The Lord's name is in their name, so it was only for them, not the other heathen, not Scott Ritter's people. All right, and the first came out red. Scott is real. He's a he's a perfect example of of, of how Edom came out. You know that pale that pale flesh that blood shows forth. Uh, beneath their skin. That's why they appear red often, especially if they get hot, sick, or angry, or hit. All right, so let's go to uh, Jeremiah 48 and 11. Jeremiah 48 and 11. And it reads, for my own sake, even for my own sake, will I do it. For how should my name be polluted and I will not give my glory to another. So this isn't for any other people. Because it tells you in Malachi that the Lord changes not. It tells you that also in Hebrew in the New Testament. Hebrews 13, I believe. Someone can put the scripture on the, on, the, on the comment board. But he says, you know, I am the Lord and I change not. So, you know, you can't. All of a sudden, it's not opened up to the other nations like they taught fraudulently false you, taught you uh, within Christianity. As they were still hanging you. And mistreating you and making you the last in all things in their society. Okay, so let's go back to I think we're in verse five now, first Peter one and five. And it reads, Who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in his last time. Oh, yeah. So the Lord revealed himself in the last time. Why? Because they 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 killed his image here. All right, in America, they they killed his image. So I got some precepts here. Let's go see. Uh, so I got Isaiah ten and twenty, uh, Isaiah one and nine, and then Nehemiah one and three. So let's go to Nehemiah first. Nehemiah 1 and 9. And it reads, But if you turn unto me and keep my commandments and do them, all right? This is talking about the Israelites, so I like to highlight them green, like the barrel, the same way the Lord appeared. All right. It says, If you if you turn unto me and keep my commandments, or his garments will appear green, not his skin. They try to make, that's why they come with the aliens, with the green, try to make them green and then give them a big head, which is really talking about the Afro. Okay. But it says, but if you turn unto me and keep my commandments and do them, though they were of, uh, were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of the heaven, yet I will gather them from thence and I will bring them unto the place that I have chosen and set my name there. So this is a message to the Israelites. You can't include, it's a damn commercial. You can't include them in it. All right. You can't include the other, you can't include other people in it. As much as some people would like to. All right. So where were we? I know that was, we went, uh, first Peter, is it one and six or one and five? One and five, right? So let's see what my other two precepts were. Uh, and I read the wrong precept in and 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 Nehemiah, but it still kind of went. Let's go back to Nehemiah, Salakia. It was Nehemiah one and three. Oh, yeah, about the remnant. <laughs> of course. And they said unto me, the remnant, the remnant that I left of the captivity 
There in the province are great affliction and, and reproach. And the wall of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. So it's all about the remnant, those who are left, the Lord revealing himself unto them, because the two-thirds either don't get it or 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 they just or they don't care. Because some of the two-thirds believe they just Lord put a spirit on them this not to, you know, care about the heritage. Because there's a lot of people out there that know where the Israelites, but you know, it doesn't matter to them. They still believe that all people can make it or whatever. They just don't don't care. Which is just, you know, this odd, but the water you howl with it, he didn't give me a spirit like that. All right. So, yeah, that was that one and nine was the wrong precept. It was one and three, but it still went. Oh, is it? yeah, Isaiah one and nine. That's probably what I was thinking when I read that Nehemiah. Isaiah one and nine. And it reads. Except you howl of hosts had left us a very small remnant. We should have been as Sodom and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. All right. So the Lord left that small remnant. That is what his elect. When you understand the vastness of Israel, when you lay, when you consider the Negro, Latino, Native American and the scattered that are scattered among all people, think of all the other billions of people on earth and our people are scattered among them. We are by far the largest race of people. All right. And, and and you could actually say that a good portion of our people, um, probably maybe even half, all right, that un, that that number that can't even be counted that are you know that are thrust among the nat the other nations, okay, <laughs> they don't they don't look like us. We you, we can't be counted when it says we're like the sun of the, the sand of the sea, you know. Pick up a go get a bucket full of sand and try to count each grain. Pick up a fistful of sand, all right, and try to count each grain before they fall from your hand. We're impossible to count, which I've, I've often said personally, I believe that's why they're so hung up on all this DNA and stuff. All right. They're so hung up on it because they want to know what, who our people are among the other people, especially the ones that look like Scott Ritter. All right. But if the Lord was with them, they'd be able to identify them through the spirit because you see, when the Lord is with you, you can easily tell, uh, when a person that looks like Edom is not Edom, all right, if the spirit of the Lord is with you. So uh, we had one more in um, in First Peter 5. Looked like this might end up being a three-part. Okay. And the next one is uh, talking about the remnant. He will reveal himself too. Isaiah 10 and 20, that's the next one, so. And it reads, and it shall come to pass in that day, this is Isaiah 10 and 20, it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such are escaped of the house of Jacob. See, so that remnant is, is of Israel. The, that elect is the remnant of Israel. All right. Shall no more again say upon him that smote him, but shall stay upon Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel. All right. Because we're separate, you know, we're a separate nation from from all the other people. Okay, you can't you can't uh, you know that's what holy means, separate. So let's go to First Peter one and six. Actually, that's the same precepts we just read. So we just so we'll go right to seven. We'll read uh, six, but the next one, the next precepts in seven, because. Uh, Peter's one and six actually kind of on the same subject matter. One, one, one and five, and one and six. All right. So it says, uh, first, first Peter one and six reads, wherein ye greatly rejoice, through now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness throughout the manifold temptation. So, meaning that you know, knowing that our peace, our wisdom and stability comes with understanding these precepts and knowing that we are the Lord's chosen. All right, so now we're in uh, verse 7, which is where we're going to pick up in the next lesson. So we're going to read 7, you know, through like 14. We'll keep going, all right, or, you know, however the Lord dictates it, all right. So with that, we give all praises, all honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakaha, Kodash, Kwam, Yasser, Shalom.